Hey guys, this is Two Minute Tuesday. My heart's heavy, but I'll share why. But um, we'll just get into it, starting now. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I've heard it said that the richest places in America and on Earth are uh, the graveyards because so many people have died with their dreams, their visions, their goals in life, and they've taken it with them to the grave, not living out their dreams, not living out their full potential. And my question to you is why? Um, if you've been waiting on a dream, if you've been waiting on a promise, uh, if there's been things that God's put in your heart um, and you haven't fulfilled it yet or you haven't accomplished it yet or haven't even taken the step towards it yet, my question is to you, why? Why haven't you? Abraham, you read in the book of Genesis, uh, he, when God told him to leave his father's house, Abraham didn't have the full plans. Abraham didn't have uh, steps ahead. All he had was go. And so he left. He didn't know where he was going. He didn't know where he was going to head to, but he started going. And a lot of times this is how it is with God's promises or visions or dreams that God puts in our heart. He may show us a bit of it. Uh, he may show us, it's like Hansel and Gretel. We may have a breadcrumb. Um, but here's the beautiful thing with God is when you take that breadcrumb and obey in faith, uh, you get the next breadcrumb. You get the next breadcrumb. Paul says it like this. He talks about prophecy. He talks about uh, the gifts. He says, we know in part and we prophesy in part. And I've even noticed that even when I give a prophetic word or a word of knowledge, a lot of times I make it a little bit, a little piece of it, but as I'm faithful in that, God gives me more. And I think a lot of times he's looking for us to be faithful in the little that he gives us, the, the little step, because when we are faithful in the little, we can be steward over much. And so my question to you again is, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Guys, this is Two Minute Tuesday. I hope, I hope, I hope, um, you live your life poured out, completely yielded, completely poured out, completely um, with no regrets. You've lived out everything God's called you to and you go and fulfill the dreams, the visions, the promises that God has for you. And I want to dedicate this Two Minute Tuesday to my dear friend, Philip Matthew. He just passed away this morning. He's 19. He lived his life to help children uh, that were born with birth defects, uh, to help them have surgeries that they can live their lives in a better way. He's gone all over the world. Find finding other children who couldn't afford these craniofacial surgeries and he lived his life to help them. I remember seeing him in July and we spoke at the same conference. He absolutely crushed it. And I remember telling him, I said, Philip, when I grow up, I want to be like you. And even though he was younger than me, that statement still stands. And what would be awesome is if we can honor Philip with a love gift to their ministry, to love without reason. I'm going to put a link in the description below and also on the screen. Uh, but listen, send a, a love gift to help Philip's memory, but also Philip's vision and his heart to help children around the world um, continue. And uh, I just want to dedicate this Two Minute Tuesday to Philip Matthews. Love you all.